Taking those hits, <laughs> bro. I keep sneezing, bro. Dusty ass room, bro. Ah. I swear I'm only sneezing on stream. I didn't sneeze off stream at all. Appreciate it. Me, me. Oh. <laughs> Muffin, come here. Oh, no. Bro, oh, jump scare. It's funny when a big dog gets scared of a oh, little cat. <laughs> Holy! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what? Sabin, you should not be talking about that. Why well, I got autoplay? Huh? When they added autoplay? Now why can't we watch videos? It has beef with all cats. His name is Maxwell. Huh. Damn dog. I was finally I was finna ask you for some money, but clearly you need it now. Wait. He does look like Mr. Beast. What the fuck? Doesn't seem like it's fake. Talk. Go hang out. Just remember to stay safe, okay? Yo. Go hang out. Just Yeah, Maxwell. Hey, monkey, what's up, bro? Appreciate the game, man. I'm having a lot of fun. It's fun. Hey. Alright, bro. Take care. Good luck on the working in your yard. The yard work. <laughs> Sounds so goofy. Bruh. XX Monkey XX no, Cheer X500. Even more bits. Hey, appreciate appreciate the 500 bits, go monkey. Legend, bro. Classic. Bro, it's the rich kid.
SCP. We all don't got any Halloween plans and uh, G and G suggests. That girl's a short friend. Who's G and G? Gang? This brain rot. Why would you make gang a shorter version G and G? Gang is already a short word. Man, bro. Sacrifice you say. Oh hell no. Did he me this Batman? I mean, same people was talking about some Diddy. There's your Diddy. Did <laughs> songs? Fuck no. He took away my greatest video of all time. Wait, what? He copyright strikes people all day. Now I'm mad about it again. My car video. All started because of KSI's fucking music. Because KSI had to go and have a music career. It's all his fault. Now he played himself with this. Should sing about that. He should sing about copyright striking people. That's all he does all day. Wow. He's copyrighting everyone with his music, probably. Because, yeah. I had it, so I had to remove his music. I think as worse than safe. <laughs> yeah. You think this is a joke? You think this is funny? To be a menace out here in society? If you're not Maxwell the Cat, I need you to keep on scrolling. Because this is who I'm talking to. We will find you. I want you to understand that. You got the community out here scared because you're walking around here being a menace and you're being a big bully. Like you control everything. L Max. We're not gonna allow that to happen. Certain things we allow to happen. You know why? Because they weren't recording their actions. They weren't recording their crime. YSL Woody never recorded anything. King Vaughn never recorded anything. But you, you a different type of menace. And the fact that you think you can't be touched. We will find you. 100% we will find you. And when we do, you're not going to see another daylight. You're going to be behind those bars. Yes, we're going to protect our community. Bros are another part of a planet. <laughs> Idiota. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, crab crabs are yeah. They fuck you up. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? It's so cold outside. Hey, yo. No, what's that cat? The. What are you trying to do? <laughs> you enter NCR territory and you forgot to change your arbor. Give me a stim pack, does nothing. Oh, Gary, is it really you? The type of guy who will never settle down. Elder Scrolls fans when you tell them you love the Legion. Fall fans when you tell them you love the Legion. I like the Legion. What? 
saving oh hell no one for local please Dog police. You're mad today. Well, you and spam, I guess. That sucks. Finally, he's running away now. Wait, fuck. Copyright. I don't know if I cooked myself. <laughs> oh, no, that's that. You got ADP reacted to your music? What the fuck? Garbage as fuck, my nigga. <laughs> Garbage as fuck. Well, he's right about that, though. He about to break into tears? Yeah, he did. Bro has even EDP heading on his music. Bro, the cat. The cat that runs around with a GoPro on his head, just beating up other cats in his neighborhood. What's his villain origin story? Is he the Joker? Why is he doing this? What's yeah. his motivation? He runs around Gotham hurting cats. The craziest part about this is when you realize that the owner looks at the video of his cat beating up other cats, edits it, puts it on the internet, and then lets the cat go back outside. Yeah. The owner is just collecting cat fight compilations like it's world star hip hop in 2012. What is his problem? What is going on? There's never any reason for it. He starts it and it's always cats. He's racist. He's a racist towards his own con. The other cats always try to get away by running into bushes and running under cars, but Maxwell Pretty loves that me, shit. Yeah. This is his passion. It's just another game of tag. He loves when you make it difficult for him so that he can mess you up. He always finds some innocent cat that's just chilling, doing nothing. And all of a sudden, the cats are like, boo, boo. They're like, chill. I don't want this work. And he's like, nah, it's time for this ass whooping. It's time. He needs to go to Cat Guantanamo Bay or Cat Arkham Asylum. I don't know where he needs to go, but yeah. he can't be on the streets anymore. The cats aren't safe. Yeah, they're not safe there. I mean, even some dogs ain't safe. But, alright. That's a big chungus. Bro, it's a workout. Nah. La like, bro, they feeding him too much, bro. <laughs> He's not even drinking the water. Bro, how are you that dumb? Did you know the meaning behind the laughter of the spotted hyena? The spotted hyena, also known as the laughing hyena, has the scientific name Crocuta Crocuta. It is a ruthless scavenger and predator, often burglarizing food stores, stealing livestock, consuming waste, and occasionally even attacking humans. Yeah, While this behavior horrible. has earned the spotted hyena a notorious reputation, it may be even better known for the spine-tingling <laughs> sounds it produces, including cackles and giggles that remarkably resemble human laughter. But are hyenas really laughing? The spotted hyena produces a variety of they're kind of scary bro imagine it's nighttime and you got hyenas and you know they're doing their laughing sound that's scary genocide on this animal yeah they're like dogs but on like steroids or rabies or some shit serves no purpose 
It's needed for the environment somehow. ...of sounds, including barks, roars, clucks, yells, groans, and various types of laughter. The laughter vocalization for which they are known consists of a high-pitched series of short, giggle-like sounds. These sounds, rather than being associated with hyenas having a good time, are generally made when they feel threatened or are under attack. This often occurs when... Yeah. Like, when they do that, they're gonna... Yeah, they're gonna attack you, bro. Okay, bro. And they encounter larger enemies, such as lions. A hyena may also produce a laughter-like sound when it is frustrated. For example, when another clan member attempts to steal its food. The pitch of a hyena's giggle can also communicate information about its age or social status, with older individuals typically having lower-pitched and less variable sounds than younger ones. That <laughs> sounds like uh, Scooby-Doo, kind of. Now that robot going crazy. Eh, nah. What? I don't get this one. They just okay. Come on, let's show my D. I got no show my D right now. Just throw me my nah. I'm on this fuck. That cannot be real. Come on, let's show my D. I got no It's real? Your friend? What the fuck? What does it actually mean? There's no way. It... Nah. There's no way. It has to mean something else, right? There's no way they would do it for that. What the f... She is geeked off. What? No, they're hundred percent lacing my uh drinks and shit there. Okay, oh, super. <laughs> Wait, yeah, that's bad. <laughs> okay, super. Holy shit. Bro was begging for his life. He begging for his life, man. Bro is still begging. Okay, for that, that's fucked up. Later. Wait, is that Maxwell? Ah, you 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 Damn, I thought it was fully white, not black white. Huh. So in home he's completely different cat. Oh well. Is living the lavish life? What is going on here? I'm, this is not adding up. 
This Bro has a home. This man every single day and puts pause on any and yeah, every same. feline that moves across his path. And you mean to tell me this little nigga has a loving family? Where is all this animosity coming from, bro? Like, what, what, what happened? Yeah. To you? I feel like the Lord. Like, bro is completely a different cat at home. Like, nah. Oh, and this cat has gotten crazy, bro. I found myself up last night till 12 watching Maxwell videos. Just watching this man devastate I guess cats Saban. on a day to day basis. And what makes this all worse is she's clearly picking him back up. So, what are you doing? You're releasing the cat every morning for footage? <laughs> Yeah, for and footage. Just coming and picking him up at the end of the day, like, have you had a good day? He's like, yeah, I hope like four hours. You can check the video footage. It was crazy. This man gets to sit there and eat his meow mix and, and cool sit in a home. comfortable bed, probably on her lap, and, and, and watch home. remakes of his videos going outside, whooping niggas' asses on a day-to-day -day basis, day to night, and she making funs off this shit. <laughs> this shit is crazy. Yeah, that is crazy. Profiting from your cat. <laughs> Maxwell hates the port. Wait, actually true. That's fucked. What? How that squirrel knows exactly? What the fuck? Bro got hacks on. How do you see the dog this good? Nah, he chillin'. Oh. You do know why I wanted to meet you, right? A man nearly kills you, so you track him across the breadth of the Mojave. You arrive on the strip and waltz into the Lucky 38 like someone left you a key under the doormat. You assassinate the head of the chairman in his own casino. Mr. House dies while you're visiting him at the Lucky 38. When you set your mind to something, you get results. I like that. Man. True. No, no, I refuse. I refuse. I refuse. I ref There's no fucking way. There's no fucking way. There's no fucking. I fucking knew it. I knew it. I knew it. God Morgan. Good morning. I knew it. I love propaganda. I fucking knew it. There's no way. It's Giat Morgan. Like there's no fucking way, bro. You act like a bitch. You fit every stereotype. What? It does have <laughs> more again. Sure. People making fake shit up. Yeah, I hate it. I hate people make fake shit. And then some actually people believe it. <laughs> the boys. It's all I lied to you just now. She did. I don't make mistakes. I'm not just like the rest of you. I'm stronger. I'm smarter. I'm better. Real. <laughs> Why is bro smiling like that though? I uh, well appreciate the links. Hello, YouTube! Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe!
What? How do you make arrows? get tired easily yeah bow sucks you would think it's OP but are there a crossbow lost on death perk only Almost killed him. It's useless. But that's kind of cool, though. It takes a lot at once. But yeah. Oh, that's a random chance. Out of ammo, yeah. Now what? <laughs> you melee with the bow <laughs> and die. Soundtrack. Your favorite? Okay. Oh, this is like night, night time. traction yeah true close to your car oh the 50 different rooms oh yeah Wait, do you still have your score? Or is your score gone? Like on the website. Still on there, okay. It's scary, These are all right. Times fake muscles went horribly wrong. Part seven. First up, we've got Brian Johnson, aka Liver King. He gained millions of followers in the yeah, early he was 2020s up by something. preaching an ancestral lifestyle of eating raw liver and doing extreme workouts. However, in 2022, it was revealed that he was spending $11,000 a month on steroids while yeah. making around $100 million a year selling supplements and working. Those proofs, so no need for always be up Outpost. I mean yeah after being exposed he admitted to using steroids but still obscures the truth about his physique sometimes claiming his abs are implants or surgically etched next Khan Baba real name Arbab Kizer Hayat Khan claims to be the world's strongest man from Pakistan he says he he's just fat how are you strong by fat He's six foot five and weighs 961 pounds with a daily diet of four chickens, 36 eggs, six pounds of meat, and over a gallon of milk. However, many of his stunts, like pulling SUVs with his hair and lifting motorbikes with his teeth, seem staged. Yeah. For example, videos show slack ropes during his SUV pulls. Khan Baba himself. Yeah, obviously, like, oh, wait, what? I thought he was a fat guy. Classic pocket, <laughs> bro. Admitted in an interview that his persona is more of a character. He looks for a fat, dream though. Of wrestling in the WWE. These are times fake muscles went horrible. Huh. Apparently he's skinnier than me. Oh, wow. What happens if airplane That's blades depressing. hit a gas pump in GTA games? In GTA 3, there's Dodo, but no gas pumps. In GTA Vice City, gas pumps aren't affected by airplane blades. They just tip over due to the slight impact. 
In GTA San Andreas, Dodo's blades pass through the gas pump. It's much clearer in slow motion. In GTA oh, wow. 4, as you know, we are not allowed to fly airplanes. Things get interesting in GTA 5. The blades cause the gas pump to explode, and the rotor catches fire. Taking off becomes much harder, and during the flight, the rotor completely fails. Come on. So you have to make an Makes emergency sense. landing if you want to survive. Yeah, those are interesting. What happens if you try to buy weapons at maximum wanted level in GTA games? In GTA 3, I mean, as soon as you enter the gun shop, you can. the sounds from outside stop, and you can buy weapons without any issues. But be prepared for risks when going out. In GTA oh, Vice wow. City, you're not safe even inside the gun shop. However, you're actually once safe. you step onto the marker, the gunfire sounds stop, and you can shop freely. <laughs> GTA San Andreas is the safest. Once you're inside, the cops can't follow you. Wait, you can what? buy weapons, but once you step outside... In uh, GTA camping. 4, no matter how many stars you have, if the cops are after you, the doors are locked. Yeah. In GTA 5, you get a notification saying ammunition is closed, so you can't buy weapons. Yeah. But the gun dealer tries to protect you from the cops. Wait, what? I didn't know that. He actually helps you? Wait, what? Or sometimes the shooting range customers do the cops' job for them. Yeah, I knew that. Buy weapons at maximum wanted oh, wow. Are the cops smart enough to avoid fire in GTA games? In GTA 3, the cops walk right through the flames without caring, but they don't burn. The cops damage. in GTA Vice City do the same thing. It seems like they've had some kind Aura. of fire resistance potion. In GTA San Andreas, the cops also prefer walking through the fire because they know they won't burn. Maybe oh, wow. they completed the firefighter mission. In GTA 4, the cops ignore the flames and walk straight through, which causes them to catch on fire. And nearby cops quickly take Nico down. In GTA 5, the cops finally notice the flames and go around them to avoid getting burned. There you go. Are the cops smart enough to avoid fire in GTA games? In GTA 3, the cops walk right through the flames without caring. How do NPCs exit when doors are blocked in GTA games? Ooh. In GTA 3, if NPCs have blocked doors, they prefer to use Claude's door. In GTA True. Vice City, similarly, passenger NPCs use the driver's door to exit. <coughs> in GTA San Andreas, this solution comes to an end. And as a simpler fix, they just teleport outside. In GTA 4, the solution is much weirder. NPCs punch Nico out of the car and use the driver's door to get out. <laughs> That's base. Give me a call, yes? I need that car back. <sighs> in GTA 5, they return to the old solution. <laughs> You're blocking my way, so I'm gonna punch my way out. That's based. Solution. NPCs simply teleport outside the car. Nah, they should they should have done the punching. <laughs> that would have been way better. NPCs exit when doors are blocked in GTA games. Man. In GTA 3, if NPCs have blocked doors, they prefer to use Claude's door. Cause like you're being an asshole by car, by blocking, so they should just punch you to get out. Just before hitting a train in GTA games. In GTA 3, there are trains, but Claude can't jump out of a moving car. In G. This TP car and outside of car is used a lot by speedrunners. Huh. GTA Vice City, Tommy can jump out of a car, but there's no train. So let's start with GTA San Andreas. If you jump early, CJ survives with full health. But if you jump too late, most of the time he dies. Mm. In GTA no. 4, this scenario huh? is entirely based on luck. Sometimes Nico gets crushed by the train and dies. Sometimes he gets thrown around and dies when he hits the ground. In some cases, he even manages to survive the fall. In GTA 5, Franklin manages to survive most of the time as long as the car doesn't explode. What happens if you jump out of a car just before hitting a train in GTA games? In GTA 3... Is it possible to change clothes while on fire in GTA games? In GTA 3, you need to use the options menu to change clothes. Claude's outfit changes, but he keeps burning. However, in GTA Vice so City, fire. the outfit icon saves Tommy from burning. In GTA San Andreas, oh, wow. it's not possible to try this in a clothing store. If you try it in a wardrobe, the flames around CJ disappear. <laughs> in GTA 4, if you start a fire in a store, the security alarms go off and Nico gets arrested. Wait, that's cool. GTA is honestly a good franchise to be honest based game but in online there are six-year-olds yeah the online is annoying 
at a safe house. Nico can't change his clothes, but he can sleep. Oh. Nice. In GTA 5, Sleep Franklin away can't the change burning. clothes while on fire. If the flames spread while changing clothes, he starts burning. <clears throat> Is it possible to change clothes while on fire in GTA games? In GTA 3, you need to use the options menu. What happens if you drive into the water with the maximum wanted level in GTA games? In GTA 3, when the army is after Claude, they don't leave him alone. In GTA Vice City, soldiers you and die. cops also drive into the water with Tommy. However, everyone waits to drown inside their vehicles. <laughs> In GTA San Andreas, the cops are eager to swim, but they forget that they can't swim. <laughs> CJ isn't left alone for long, though, as a police chopper arrives and sends him to the hospital. In GTA 4, cops fly into the water with Nico. Luckily, these cops can swim and enjoy swimming together with Nico until Aww. he dies. In GTA 5, it's quite similar to GTA 4. The cops don't want to leave Michael alone and drive into the water. While Michael is swimming, he gets wasted by the surrounding cops. What happens Until if you dies. try to board a train with no money in GTA games? In GTA 3, even if you don't have any money, you can get on the train and travel without any issues. Oh wow. In GTA Vice City, Tommy doesn't even know what a train is. In GTA San Andreas, you can also travel by train without spending any money. But trying this in GTA 4 won't be nice. If you don't hmm. have any money, you can still get on the train. However, when you get off, you'll get a one-star wanted level. <laughs> Nico will get arrested. I know how to use this, you know. I want this punk. Come on, give me a really? Break. For not in paying GTA the ride? Five, oddly enough, you can get on the train and get off without any problems. What happens if you try to board a train with no money in GTA games? You get in GTA one star. 3, even if you don't have any money, Criminal. you can get on the train and travel without any How issues. How dare you ride in GTA with not Vice paying? City, Tommy doesn't what happens if you call 911 in the ocean in GTA games? In GTA 3, Claude doesn't have a phone, just a pager. Tommy hmm. has a phone, but it's pretty useless and can't even call emergency services. <laughs> the same goes for CJ's phone. Luckily, in GTA 4, Nico can call 911. But if he's in the ocean, he can't describe his location. Where would you like us to send an officer? I knew you'd ask that. Let me call you back when I know exactly where I am. Where am I? That's a good question. I'll call back when I see a land. Uh, middle of the ocean. I don't know where I am exactly. I'll call you when I can figure it out. We look forward to hearing from you again. Please stay safe in the meantime. In GTA oh, 5, the pissed. emergency services say they're on their way. Hello, this is 911. Police officers are en route to your current location. But no one ever arrives. Wow. What happens if you call 911 in the ocean Liars, in GTA man. games? In GTA 3, Claude doesn't have a phone, just a pager. Tom He's lying to you. Yeah, we'll, Karate. we'll come there. Karate originated in the Ryukyu Kingdom, now part of Japan, with influences from <clears throat> Chinese Kung Fu. Although Karate has various different styles, many of them include striking techniques such as punching, kicking, knee strikes, and elbow strikes, along with open hand techniques like knife hands. The philosophy behind Karate involves not only physical training, but also a focus on mental discipline and moral character. Oh, Jack Box time. Learn I mean, yeah. <laughs> okay. I guess for later then. An interesting glitch occurs at this point of the map in GTA 5. Razor good. Um, I like raisins covered with chocolate. Those are good. If you jump from the fifth step while going down the stairs, the character hits the railings with a diving animation. An interesting glitch occurs at this point of the map in GTA 5. If you jump from the fifth step while going down the stairs, huh. the character hits the railings with a diving animation. That is so dumb. An interesting glitch occurs. Five more of the funniest Family Guy cameos in the Cleveland show. In season one, episode 21, Peter and Quagmire attend Cleveland's mom's wedding. Now can I have my own show, Peter? So Quagmire, you're a right. In Season 3, Episode 2, while Cleveland is stuck under a tree, the family comfort him with marionettes of Stewie and Brian. In Season 4, Episode 7, we saw one of the dogs Junior and Rallo caught resembling Brian Griffin. I'm not him. In Season 2, Episode 10, we saw some stuffed Brian and Stewie knockoff toys available at the fair. Family Dudes Stevie! Family in Season dude. 1, Episode 12, we have Chris Griffin making a cameo appearance. Hi, Cleveland! Go back to Cohog. Okay!
If a jet goes super fast, it can actually push the sound waves in front of it, and this causes them to literally pile up. After a while, the jet will eventually break through this pile of sound waves, resulting in a sudden change in pressure and causing a sonic boom. That's why they're loud. Hmm. Happens about thesis. <laughs> Skittles, yeah. This is old, old. It's probably 360, yeah, yeah. 11 years ago. <laughs> Being a blue lantern, yeah. Okay, save it. Like, why would you shoot him, man? He just wants to give you ice cream, bro. Yeah, perfect. SpongeBob! got skills though. How could you? He just wants you to be happy, man. I have no enemies. I He died on the second headshot. Yeah, you better cry. You better fucking cry. What the fuck? That was Hank. Yeah. Hey, we say the exact same thing. Moral, cock joke, lol. <laughs> you get a post heart, alright. It's a classic, bro. <laughs> Draw a cock for a YouTube video.
in general. Terminated off the platform. You did that. Uh, I mean, it's not that good. You look scuffed, but. What even is that, though? Oh, Blue Lantern. Oh. I see now. Oh, you did copy from another art. I mean, at least you tried, though. It does, you know, the more, the more you do, the more better you get. Gotta start somehow. Or something. There is the speed paint video. Kiss these. You keep you keep sneezing. Honestly, I was sneezing as well. I was streaming down. You got a video you also you posted? It was a video? Oh. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Nice, though. I mean, you did add detail to the feet and uh, hands and stuff. That is, that, that, is, that is some bonus points. Hands were the hardest part, yeah. But hey, good job, though. Well, as always, love all your mentors. Hope you enjoyed your stay, and I'll uh, see you all You're not tomorrow. that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. Hey, I ain't that guy, but I am that fella. So, um... Peace out and a uh, good night. Bruh, bruh, bruh.